Bhaskar Patil from Civil Department, KIT's College of Engineering, Kolhapur. Today we will we are going to see introduction to tenders and contract. So, what is tender? What is contract? We will see into today's video. So, today the contents of the topic will uh, presentation will be what is tender, what is contract, what is tendering, difference between tender, bid, and contract. Also, we will see types of tenders. So now. We will see first what is tender. This is the first initial stage of any contract document or any tendering process. Okay. So, tender is an offer to the contractor to do work for a certain amount of money. Means it, it is an offer given to the contractor that look at to the offer and tell me what work or in what amount you can do this work. So, here, here the second party, the contractor in civil tenders has to quote his price for how much he will do this uh, certain kind of work. Okay. So, it he has to incorporate this in time and other conditions required. Okay. He has to carry out all the contract requirement. The main reason is to complete the project. So, here, here the contractor has to complete whole project. So, whatever the conditions are required, he has to fulfill. He has to complete the project in given stipulated time okay. and in requirement, whatever the specification, if a particular work requires certain specification, if we say uh, brick masonry class 1. So, he, the contractor has to fulfill the requirement and specification for brick masonry class 1. So, here you understand it is nothing, it is an offer given, offer given to the contractors at what amount they have to or what amount they have to quote for a certain project or certain quantity of work. Next, we will see tendering. So, what is tendering here? We have seen tender it is an offer given. Tendering is a process okay, to conduct. Here we have many contractors in the field. So, we do not know who is a valid contractor or who is giving a, a fair price. So, we have to choose them or who is available for us to do this work or we want to choose some specific kind of contractor with some specific requirement. So, that we cannot do, we do not know many contractors. So, what we do? We give this offer, we give this offer in certain systematic format. Okay. So, this systematic format is nothing but the tendering process or choosing the fair contractor. Okay. Tendering process is what? We have the offer ready. Now, whom to give this offer amongst this many contractors? So, here we in the tendering process, okay, in the tendering process, we choose the contractor, okay, fair, uh, final contractor and we award this tender to him, okay. So, this tendering process is conducted after administrative approval, technical sanction. In the administrative approval, you should get an approval from the higher authority related that where uh, is this project feasible or not or we can do or not. This is an administrative approval. Next is technical sanction. Is this project technically fit? So, technical team reviews this project, the review the design and they sanction the project as is it technically correct or not. Then budget sanction. After budget is the uh, amount of finance if is it available or not. Then the next process is tender is prepared. Okay. Here, this tender is prepared to choose experience and technical sound contractor. This process also ensures fair and transparent selection method. Next is bid. Now, we have after uh, various sanction, we have prepared a tender document that is we have ready with our invitation or offer to, to be given to the contractor. Now, what does contractor they do? They collect the standard document, 
and or this they collect this offer and they quote their price. Now each price of that particular contractor or the offer submitted by the particular contractor or a bidder is called a bid. Okay. So now that tender document which is with the rate of that contractor. So every contractor will have their own specific bid. So now this tender document is become as a bid. Okay, bid of that particular contractor. Next, next and the last stage, contract. Contract is an exchange of promise between two parties enter into legal agreement under the rules provided by Indian Contract Act 1872, where one party drafts the contract, fix the terms and conditions all by themselves is called a standard form of contract and which is enforceable by court of law. So contract is nothing but where two parties promises to, to fulfill some conditions. Okay, but here the difference of this contract in the civil industry is that this contractor, the conditions within the contractor has been fixed by the owner or the department who is giving this offer. So they fix their own conditions. So they are free here, but this condition should be valid. And when this, uh, when you choose a bid or we will choose a best contractor amongst the contract who has submitted their bid. Who is, whose bid is very fair. So we give this bid or we award this tender to him. Now the document, what they are having, this bid document of that particular contractor becomes a contract, contract document, okay, between both parties. So both parties agree to the terms what are been mentioned in that particular contract document. Yet the document won't change, the tender document won't change, but the particular do document of that selected bidder becomes a contract document. Okay, whatever the conditions laid into that contract has to be fulfilled. The time required for the completion of the project has to be ful ful uh, fulfilled. The specification given has to be ful fulfilled. So. And now, if any of the party breach to this contract, breach means what? Any of the party fails to fulfill this contract, then this contract can be enforceable by law. Next, we will see difference between tender bid and contract. In short, the term tender formally means invitation. So here we have seen tender is an invitation. Same when it is submitted by the other party that is contractor, we call it as bid and the last contract. Only the chosen contractor, okay, chosen contractor, chosen bidder, his document becomes the final agreement or the contract document between two parties. So last is the award of tender. After awarding the tender to particular contractor, that document becomes contract. So, here we understand tender, bid and contract. Types of tender. The last part of today's video is types of tender. So, tender ha are having five types. Open tender, closed tender, negotiated tender, stage tendering and e-tendering. So, what is open tender? So, here it is not restricted to any of the contractor. Okay a national contractor, international contractor or uh, if we are in the Maharashtra state, a contractor from Uttar Pradesh also can bid for this tender. So here it is open to all, the public advertisement is done of this tender. Okay, advantage is what? Here the competition is large, okay, competition is large between the parties and potentially we can get good and fair price. Okay, high volume of bid and potentially at lower price. If we choose uh, between two contractors, what will happen? We do not know what is exactly the fair price. We will think what the price between the two parties is only the correct price or is only the lowest price. So here we do not have freedom to choose, but then the open, uh, open contractor, this does not happen. And disadvantage, 
only the disadvantage of uh, this open uh, tender is high volume it takes time because many contractor they bid their doc, uh, bid so it is time consuming and many people are required for this tendering process to evaluate this tendering process to choose this tendering process also next is selective tender here only pre qualified bidder are invited we know them that these people are fit to do this our particular work or they have their capacity capacity in terms of economic in terms of labor in terms of material so we know that or in terms of quality also so we know that this particular con team of contractor they can bid it or they will survive our whatever the tender requirement or uh, specification okay here quality is major issue so advantage here is we get better quality fastest process because we don't have to choose among the many contractor disadvantage less competition potential bias people they can uh, manage themselves or if we have called, contacted three bidder so they there are chances that they can discuss among themselves among the three parties and they can quote or they will choose as who want to get this contract and they will quote the price accordingly after their discussion because they know only they the three are them invited so uh, disadvantage is only that it can be bias and less competition negotiation tender it is directly one to one uh, negotiation between the contractor here there is no flexibility that choosing among the three choosing among the many only we know this party we are only negotiating to the particular contractor advantage flexibility uh, the solution on that particular project can be discussed disadvantage it can be at the higher cost it can be less transparent the next type is stage or single stage uh, tendering or two stage tendering in the single stage tendering the complete bid is submitted at once so this we will clearly understand in the two stage bidding in the two stage bidding what is done first the pre qualified document of each contractor is taken in one one set and the next set is of his bid the what proposal he is going to submit in the pre qualification generally his uh, financial uh, finance has been checked his experience on the project has been checked past a uh, current project so current uh, pro what are the current projects in hand is the team available with him to do the next project okay or he is he is he in the financially of the capacity to that to do that particular project so only the pre qualification document is uh, seen first if they are qualified then only the bid is uh, evaluated or bid is seen if they are disqualified the bid is not open or they don't look the second part of the tender that is uh, his particular bid he, what the price he has been quoting so this is nothing but the two stage tendering single stage there is no such pre qualification or separate document as bid document or proposal so it's a single document for every contractor each document a single document is evaluated and the last type is e tendering okay uh, what is e tendering the same process that of tendering which is conducted uh, offline or physically can happen online also so the tender document is available in soft copy on the portal of that particular department or a, a company so the bidders the contractor they download from it they submit it online and most of the time evaluation can here the evaluation criteria can be offline or online as per as discussed by the owner or as decided by the company so these are the five types of tender